Hi, this is Amit from Digital Inspiration and in today's episode, I'll discuss a very simple workaround that will help you generate RSS feeds for your Twitter account. Now, as you know, Twitter has stopped supporting native RSS feeds, but with this workaround, you will be able to generate RSS feeds for Twitter search results. You can generate feeds for the timeline of any Twitter user, their uh, favorites or even any list in Twitter. So let's see how this can be done. As a first step, I'll create some widgets inside Twitter. So I go to my Twitter homepage and under settings, I'll choose widgets. Now Twitter allows you to create several types of widgets, including widgets for user favorites, user timelines, even search results. So for this example, I'll create a new Twitter widget for a user, let's say New York Times. Once the widget is published, Twitter will assign a unique ID to your widget and we'll use this ID in our RSS feed. So go to the address bar and you'll find the widget ID. Just note it down somewhere. I'll go back to Twitter and I'll create a new widget, but this time it's for Twitter search results. Let's say I'm looking for tweets that are around the new Google Chromecast device. So I'll just put hash, hashtag Chromecast and Twitter will show me all tweets around that hashtag. So I'll create the widget and again copy the ID of this widget to the clipboard. Now that our widgets are ready, we need to transform them into RSS feeds and we'll use Google scripts for that. So open this Google script, you'll find a link in the show notes and go to run menu and choose Twitter RSS. Now when you do this, the script will be initialized. It might require authorization because it has to connect to an external service. So just say yes at the authorization prompt. Our script is now ready and we need to publish it so that anybody can access our RSS feed. So I go to publish and choose deploy as web app. Now in this uh, dialog, I'll set the version number as 1.0. You can use any number and under who has access to the app, I'll choose anonymous because even clients like external RSS readers need to access our RSS feed. So I'll just choose anonymous and choose deploy. Once the script is deployed, Google will give me a public URL of this web app, which I'll copy and go back to my notepad. So here I have the widget IDs and the script URL. I can combine these two and my RSS feeds for Twitter will be ready. So let's try that. I'll take the first widget ID and add it to the script URL. Now let's see what happens when I open this new URL in my browser. So here's the RSS feed for the Times Twitter account that I can subscribe to in any RSS reader. Okay, now let's try the same trick for our second widget. So I go back to notepad, copy this widget ID and add it to my Google script URL. And that's the RSS feed for Twitter search results. So you can create any number of widgets inside your Twitter account and use this simple Google script to transform them into RSS feeds. Thanks.